Greetings guys, Sai here and welcome to another episode of and Project Left. Today we're going to be dissecting the world number one Justin Rose's practice station. Something he's used for a long, long time to help you and me improve our golf. So, let's go. Okay, you can see here from Justin Rose's practice station, this is something that he's been using for a long time. He's been using this station in and out, we know for at least 12 months now. So the first thing to learn is that if you do find something, find a training aid, find a device, find a system that works for you. Keep going with it. Don't think that this is gonna be a, let's try this twice, quick fix, golf is gonna be sorted. Golf's not that easy, so you have to keep working at it. So let's dive right into this practice station. He's got himself three alignment sticks, which all serve very, very specific purposes. The first alignment stick is lying there on the ground. That is to help with his alignment, not only his body alignment, so his feet, his knees, his hips, his shoulders, but also his club face. Working on those basic, basic alignments is so important if you want to improve your golf, because if you want to hit the ball in a certain direction, you need to make sure that you can point in that direction. Okay, the second stick that you can see there is just up against his trail leg. So his right leg for right-handed golfers, left leg for us left-handed golfers, and that is gonna help with his rotation. Now, I don't know exactly what Justin is working on, but what it's gonna do is gonna help with his rotation, stop him sliding maybe laterally back away from the target. If you do slide laterally away from the target, that's gonna maybe move the center of your golf swing back, which may mean you have to lean laterally forwards during the downswing, maybe hitting the ground first. Just struggling with those kinematic sequences, those body movements that you guys need to make sure you get drilled in as quickly and as efficiently as possible to help you hit the ball in the right direction. So that stick behind the trail leg, you can see he is trying to turn without touching that. Okay, you can also see a third alignment stick set at an angle. Now that's gonna help him with his club path. Just to remember that the club always works on that diagonal path where it starts in front of you, on the backswing, club head goes behind you, club head stays behind you, and then at the last minute it comes back in front of you. As you can see from this bit of B-roll that I've shot for you guys, it's important to know when and where that club goes from in front to behind you on your backswing and on your downswing. More importantly on your downswing, most people get the idea of how to move the club in their backswing, but a lot of people struggle with that downswing. They get that club too much in front of them, too high, too early, that often leads to out to in club pass. Now I don't know what club pass Justin is struggling with, you're gonna to have to ask Sean Foley for that one, but if he struggles with either too much in to out and the club gets stuck behind him for too long, or if he struggles with out to in pass where the club gets too ahead of him too early, then that diagonal line is gonna help him and could well help you to keep that club much more on the path you desire. Okay, lastly, and most excitingly for myself, P is using the Tour Striker Smart Ball, possibly one of my favorite training aids of all time. It's a little inflatable ball that sits in between your arms and helps with that body structure, helps to keep that rotation. And he's been using this for a long time. There's some images hopefully coming up on the screen now of him using this back in September 2017. So it's something that he has bought into, he enjoys, he feels like it gets a benefit from him. Him and his coach Sean Foley have worked with that and he feels that's a massive benefit to him. He's continued to use it. So there it is in September 2017 using the smart ball and here we are in November 2018. He's back to world number one and this smart ball will have been a big part of the process. So congratulations Martin Chuck, you have a world number one using your products. The Tour Strucker products, as Adam and I have both said for a long time, are some of our favorite training aids. They really, really can help you to really learn those feels, those kind of those nuances that maybe the coaches, we can't always communicate as effectively as we want to. When we can put a piece of equipment into your hands, you can use it and get those feels for yourself. And if you can get those feels, that installs the learning for you and will make you a better, better golfer. So guys, really, really quick video today, just going through Justin Rose's practice setup. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you, if you do enjoy our content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That'll get you all of our content from Adam and I, Adam's Project Win, my project left, 
all the PGA Life 365 videos that we produce for you every single week. I'm gonna now go away and use this practice station as part of my winter training because if it's good enough for the world number one, it's good enough for someone trying to learn the game left-handed. So, as always, this was an episode of Project Left. I'm Simon, and we'll see you down here on PGA Life 365 very, very soon. Bye-bye.